the provider for my home. My mom and I, we lived together. I had a stable job. I was working, working full time. I was giving to, uh, to the Lord, serving, and then I ended up losing the job. So I was without a job for, for about two months. There was no money coming in. I was being pulled in every direction with bills, with zero dollars in my bank account. We hadn't paid the bills, so they obviously sent somebody to shut the water off. With our gutter, we, um, we started to collect water with buckets and then pour it into a huge trash can. So that's what we were using to take a shower. That's what we were using to brush our teeth. We prayed to the Lord, my mom on her knees, begging for the Lord to um, allow it to rain. It was, it was pretty tough. Pretty much on my knees, begging and crying and praying for the Lord to help. And uh, I was driving and I was listening to the radio station Reach FM where you guys were having a share a so I called in, I was like, hey, listen, I don't have too much money. You know, can I give 50 cents? Is that, is, do you guys even take that little? I got in the car and turned the radio on. And, and then all of a sudden, I, I heard uh, Rhonda talking to this man. The Lord brought me a scripture of the widow in the Bible saying, I only have one penny, and this is all I have, and it's yours. It's break my heart to see a family that don't have water. That's when I, I said, Lord, I gotta do something. So I was laying there, playing my guitar, and then my phone rang. I picked it up, and uh, Ruthie, she she called me and said, "Hey, listen, we just heard your story, and you know, you know, somebody else heard heard the story in Orlando, and they said that they want to go ahead and pay your your water bill. So here's his number, and just call him up." And um, I spoke to him, and I was like, "Hello." He's like, "Hey, this is Miguel." And, I was like, hey, Miguel, um, they told me to call you about, you know, they wanted to help me out. And he's like, yes, brother, I was very touched, so I want to pay your water bill. Hearing that, that somebody that didn't know me, that somebody that doesn't, didn't even live around me, that I never helped, that I didn't owe anything to, he reached out to me and, and, and wanted to pay my water bill. I was very surprised that it was, um, it was everything that I was praying for. It was everything that I needed. I saw these people today for the first time. I cried like a baby. We hug each other. We cry. Why? Because it was all God, all for His glory. The, the moment I hugged Miguel was as close as I could get to hugging Jesus. He helped me restore my water. He helped me restore my faith. He helped me restore my, my everything for Christ. He makes me want to give more for Christ. We used to be homeless. And the good Lord got us out of that. But as soon as I, I, I heard you talking to the radio station, I said, I gotta do something. We finally turned on the water, and now we no longer need to collect water through the rain, through the dirty gutter. And that is all thanks to Reach FM and to Miguel, and first and foremost, to the Lord.